Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do the Moonology series reading for the Zodiac sign of Libra for the mid-month of May, year 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you're one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. I'm sending you so much love and light. Thank you for joining and rejoining. I appreciate all of you. Cross watchers, come on in as well. You are always welcome. I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings as well for everybody. In your reading today, Libra, in this Moonology series, I'm calling it, I am going to be using one deck. This deck is called the Silver Moon Oracle Card Deck. It's by Sharon Julian. And you can find this deck on Etsy. And it's, it's at the Midnight Oracle Shop on Etsy. So if you're interested, it's a really cool deck. I love it. I've been wanting it for a long time. I love the way it feels. It's not a whole lot of cards. I think it's like 40, but um, you can get variations of the cards. You can get the double deck. You can get things that come with it, like a crystal. And there's different stuff you can get to go with it. You have to look that up. But um, I just wanted this deck. And I like it. I've been using it. And it's really cool. And I will be using it for your reading. I will not be doing reversals in this reading. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It keeps my channel going and growing. That is always the ultimate goal. And... You guys are helping me to expand and grow, and I appreciate you all so much. I cannot do it without you. I am pausing personal readings and personal life coaching sessions at this time. I will let you know when I open those, but I will continue posting like life coaching sessions that I do on YouTube, okay? All right. If you're interested in donating, I do have PayPal and Cash App. The links are below. If you've ever donated anything to my channel, energetically, time, energy, a comment, money, Please know that all of it is greatly appreciated and um, everything that you all put into me, I'm going to put back into this channel and into you. Thank you so much for the from the bottom, top, and middle of my heart for all the giving, all the love, all the shares, all the likes, the views, positive vibes, the money, all of it. You guys are amazing and I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless all of you guys. Okay, Libra, one announcement is I am finally doing extended. So if you're interested in purchasing an extended, I'm doing a tarot scope reading for all zodiac signs in extended versions. So if you want to get some tarot card messages for your zodiac sign, please read the description box below. I put it at the very top, so the link should be right there. And I hope you guys enjoy that for whoever chooses to purchase it. Okay. And thank you in advance if you choose to. Okay. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. My lovely, irresistible, adventurous Libras. Let's jump into your reading. Your card deck has been prayed upon and meditated on. And let's get started. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Libra. For the mid-month of May, the 2021. For the zodiac sign of Libra. I am going to use the formation of the Star of the Sea. And I will cut the cards in front of you now. For Libra spirit. For Libra. Okay. The first card represents you and your present and current situation. The second card represents the change that you will see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger that change. The fourth card represents the action or guidance you can take guided by spirit. The fifth card represents what's happening in your circle or with friends, family, people around you. It could be co-workers, relatives, neighbors, upstairs, downstairs, around you subordinates bosses it also could be you as well and then the outcome is the sixth card i always start with the overall energy which is the bottom of the deck libra you have lover's moon nice passion love and relationships so some of you will be coming into a very beautiful romantic relationship a very loving partnership this feels really like Valentine's-ish. It's really sweet. It's what I'm saying, like dates, holding hands, somebody who's really romantic. And you guys are very adventurous. You guys like to try different things. You guys like excitement. So I think this person is going to bring some type of excitement. So don't be afraid, Libra, to tell your person what you like, even if it's a little bit edgy or different when it comes to like just having fun in certain experiences. Talk to your partner because I feel like they want to please you. They want to make you happy. They're going to be open to this. This is beautiful as your overall message and um, energy here. This is really cool. 
I haven't seen this yet, I don't think. So this is beautiful. So some of you are really ready for this, is what I'm feeling, and you're excited for it. For those of you who are already in a relationship, I feel like your partner wants to tap into a more fun, flirty side of things. So if you're open to that, then um, get ready for the ride. I feel like it's going to be really beautiful, and it's going to be something that, that I feel like a lot of you have been wanting, but some of you didn't speak up or you spoke up, but maybe your person wasn't ready, but they're getting more comfortable with you. Even if you guys have been together long term, they're getting more comfortable with you and your love language. So they know your love language is experiences. You guys love to travel. You guys love to go try different foods and new places and different things. You guys like something that's going to be fun, even if it's a little scary or even if it's a little different. You're willing to see, you're willing to tap into it and check it out and just, you're in it to win it. It's like, you're in it for the joy, the ride of it. And it looks like it's going to be really fun. I, I like this energy for you guys. This is dope. Okay. Very, very cool start, Libra. Okay. What represents you in your present and current situation? Libra, you have full moon, power, clarity, and culmination. So a lot of you are overachievers or high achievers. So you guys go big, you go high and you want to go far. So a lot of you, if you're working on like some type of project at this time, you're going to complete it with excellence, high excellence, because what I'm seeing is with cultivation here, it's like you put the time in, you put the effort in and you put the energy. So you paid attention to details and your work, your work ethic is amazing anyways. So you guys go above and beyond. It just looks like to me, you're going to get like a surge of power based on like the ideas that you're getting. So you're going to be clear on what you want to do and how you want to do it. And then you're going to go full force and do it. This is really cool. So a lot of you are about to close out something like education or you're about to close out a project or you're about to close a deal at work, something like that, but you're going to close it out on a high level. So your superiors are going to be proud of you. Your coworkers are going to be, I'm getting like hand claps. You're getting a like, some kind of like some of you maybe a standing ovation or round of applause or some really good compliments and comments based on your work that you are about to accomplish. Some of you are like real close to this. Like you could be accomplishing this, not just in this month of May, but I'm here in June. June is going to be big for a lot of you. So June is going to be um, full moon, full circle for you guys. So that means things are going to come to a close, but you're going to be ready for what's next. It's made you feel powerful that you kept going and you stayed with it and you didn't give up and you achieved something else that's great. Like you are an overachiever and this is, this is amazing energy. I love that for you guys. What's happening next? Libra, you have moon escape. I don't think I've seen this card. You guys have cards coming out that I haven't seen in a lot of other readings. It says perspective remote and apart. So I feel like once you complete this task, a lot of you may need to go on vacation or Take some downtime to yourself. So I think this is where your person is going to be ro more romantic. And a lot of you are going to tap into your sensual and sexual side. You're going to be looking at life from a different perspective. Make sure you look back at all your accomplishments and everything that you worked hard to achieve and give yourself a pat on the back too. You know, always give the glory to God and give yourself credit too for what you accomplished because it's not always easy to start something and see it through to the finish line. But it's important to you that you do it and you are a doer. And this is beautiful energy. It's like you're showing your family a really great example and your friends and yourself. I think you really love proving things to yourself. You know, it's not even about other people. You love proving yourself that you can do it, even if you feel like you can't. And we all have our days where we're tired or we're exhausted or we have really busy schedules, but it's like you figure it out. But I think you're going to need some downtime too. And the downtime is not just time for yourself. Of course, everybody needs me time. That's important. Make sure you pamper and love and, you know, nourish yourself. But I mean, what I'm feeling here with Moonscape, this is time for you to get back to some of the things that you neglected or things that you couldn't do because you were so focused on getting this task done. So spending more time with your family, spending more time with your wives or your husbands or your spouses, spending more time nourishing yourself or exercising or implementing a new program, something that you've always wanted to do that maybe you didn't complete or finish. I feel like you're going to implement that into action 
and taking care of your body better is what I'm hearing. Moonscape. So you are going to take care of the house better or garden or something that you left unfinished. I feel like you're going to get back to and put a lot of energy into it. So that looks good. I, I love it. Love this energy. What's going to trigger this change coming in? You have a crescent moon. Birth progress and feminine power a lot of you are stepping into your feminine power even if you're masculine we all have both is what i believe and we tap into different things based on our needs and where we are in our lives our placements with this crescent moon some of you are giving birth or giving birth to ideas so if you're pregnant or you want to get pregnant a lot of you especially with this new love and you know this new romance is in the air for you guys it's beautiful energy uh, flirty feelings it's going to lead to a child. So if you actually are married and you're in a situation where you're comfortable and you're ready, this looks amazing for you. Congratulations for anybody who's already in this process. Some of you, your completion is to deliver this baby and have this child. Or some of you, I'm seeing two kids. So a lot of you want to build a family that looks amazing. Congrats. And for others of you, I feel like you're birthing ideas. So there's something else that you want to do. You may have a lot of things lined up. Remember to breathe and do one thing at a time so that you don't get sick trying to um, accomplish way too many things. Give yourself a breather, especially when you've just accomplished something really major and big in your life. Give yourself time to just unwind and chill, okay, and find your tranquility. When you've put a lot of work and effort into something that you know was going to stand out or you know was going to impress people around you, I feel like... It takes time to unwind because it may have taken some of you several months or even several or a few years. It took time that you put into this. You know, it took brain power, took a lot of your think your thinking. So you're going to have to unwind from that. So don't just jump to the next unless it's something very soothing for your soul. Like really think about it. You know, don't just skip over what you accomplished. Make sure you actually give yourself the proper praise um, that you actually deserve. But I see that you're going to continue making progress. You're going to get an inspiration for the next project and the next, but it don't have to be as big as the project you just finished. But some of you, you want to go bigger. You want to climb higher. There's nothing wrong with that. Just pace yourself and balance and make sure you love your body and love yourself, love your temple, take care of you. All right? Because I do see more progress. It's going to work out. The action you could take guided by spirit or guidance here. You have halo moon. I love it. Spiritual gift, um, inspired and omen. Some of you are highly spiritually gifted. Um, you're going to tap into your intuitive gifts. And this is beautiful. So pay attention to all synchronicity, signs, omens, repeating of numbers, or words or certain dreams that don't make any sense. There's usually a message in it. So sometimes you have to decipher between, you know, where, where the message is. So write it down, draw it, think about it, but don't let it drive you crazy. But I feel like um, a lot of you are going to get a spiritual gift, meaning God is going to bless you with a gift where you're going to help people um, spiritually. So this could be related to religion or religious studies or spirituality. You also could be getting a spiritual gift, meaning a gift from your loved ones from the other side. God could be granting you a gift. This is like a present is what I'm hearing coming in for you. This is beautiful. And it could be, like I said, a gift which you're going to help others and you're going to receive accolades and money and beautiful things from it. But this gift is is a really unique what's coming in for you. For some of you, this is a physical gift from spirit. Like it's divinely guided that you receive this and it's something really great. So I love this for you, um, Libra. The, I feel like the gift that's coming in for you is going to highly inspire you. It's going to put you in an inspirational mode. This is beautiful. I love your reading. It's very chill, but at the same time, it's just real like flowy. Okay, so what's happening in your circle with family, friends, and people around you? You have cold moon. It says dark time, endure, and long wait. I'm getting that somebody around you could be going through the dark night of the soul, meaning they're going through some major challenges where they are feeling their way through and they're trying to get through the storm. It's like they're looking forward to healing, 
But sometimes people have to face the things that's the hardest. They have to endure some tough lessons. And um, it's not easy. So somebody may need your support. And long wait here, it means it may take them some time to get through, to climb this mountain and get to the other side or get to the top. So encourage them to keep pushing forward. Encourage them to keep making strides. And, you know, you may need to encourage people to believe in themselves. Somebody may be looking at what you have and start to feel like they wish they could have more or they're trying to compete with you. Everybody needs to stay in their own lane and compete with themselves to be the best selves that they can be. But somebody could be going through some major issues and challenges. You're a great friend, Leo, so you will be a great shoulder to cry on. But I feel like more than anything, you're going to give this person advice and inspire them to like chase after their own true desires. Okay. You know, when I think about Dark Knight of the Soul, this is about leveling up to find yourself. So seeing yourself and getting a greater understanding of who you are and your connection to God and spirit and walking your purpose. It's not always easy to go through this because most times people have to leave behind addictions. They need to leave behind drama, negativity, some of their vices, some of the things that they don't want to break those you know, those deep, deep rooted habits that they don't want to get rid of. It's time. It's like spirit saying it's time. So that's why they're going through the darkness. They're going to have to fight their shadow side to get to their higher vibration and their higher self. And they can do it and it can be done. And it's a beautiful thing to achieve this. Okay. And I feel like everybody goes through this in a certain way at certain times in their lives. So let them know it's okay. They just has to follow the light, follow what's good. Listen to their intuition. Libra, your outcome is the cosmic moon. I love it. Expansive, growing, and shining. You're shining bright like a beautiful star. You're twinkling. You're golden. You are shimmering. You are special. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You're awesome. And you have really connected to God and spirit. And you know how. You know how to pray you know how to give up certain things. You know how to sacrifice. You know how to make changes. You're willing to look at yourself and see your greatness through your flaws and imperfections. This is really beautiful. It's, this, is, this is you on a high spiritual level connecting with spirit in a major way. So I feel like a lot of you are walking your path and your purpose. And you're going to continue to whichever or whatever the spiritual gift is or whichever way it comes to you. I feel like you feel it. You know it. You're in your season. You've been in your season and you're just going with it, you know, as you should. You're just receiving. But you have so much thanks and gratitude. And spirit wants you to know that they appreciate how you're appreciating your life. They recognize how special you are. You are a true gem, Libra. A true dream, a, a true gem. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm listening to like the noise outside. I think they're putting like certain like dishes up and stuff on top of the um, roof for like cable connections and stuff like that. So hopefully they get it done without all the noise but i don't think it's picking up on the camera it could be but if it is i'm sorry for all the extra racket i try to record when i can do it when it's quiet to the best of my ability but we never know what happens but anyways libra this is beautiful energy cosmic expansive you're just going to keep going um and you're a fighter you're a true fighter you believe in yourself you believe in the world and you believe in what's good in this world but at the same time, you're not blind. Your blinders are off. You're seeing life very clearly. You have clarity about your purpose and you have a great perspective on yourself and the world. Your mind is so beautiful. Libra is beautiful. Okay, Libra, this has been your Moonology series reading for mid-month of May year 2021. I hope these messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. I loved your reading. This was so beautiful. You're very connected. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Tarot Scope extended reading, please do enjoy it. I hope you do. 
I'm sending you so much love and light, infinite joy, blessings, and abundance. May God bless you all. Bye, Libra.